This is my new 2024 M2 iPad Air and I have been using it for the past 4 months now. I was completely new to the iPad system and slowly I made this large phone my new productivity home. Unlike other videos, it is not about how I take beautiful notes or journal my everyday stuff. This is how I actually use it to be productive in my day-to-day -day tasks. If you enjoy watching my content, then do consider subscribing. My goal is to hit 10k subscriber by the end of this year and it is not possible without your support. And let's get started. I use my iPad to focus and be more productive. For this, I keep my iPad as minimal and least distracting as possible. Starting from the home screen, it is just a simple wallpaper and a clock combo. I got the black and white theme, so I downloaded this wallpaper from Pinterest. This might not sound like a big change, but these things do affect you in the long run. Now I am so habitual to the black and white theme that those colored icons started to look weird to me. Let's start off with managing my day-to-day -day tasks. You see, I am a full-time product designer and a part-time content creator. To manage the 100 tasks I have every week, I have to remember everything. For that, I am using the Minical calendar. I have been using it for the last 20 days or so and I am addicted to adding my tasks to a calendar now. I was using the Apple calendar before but this is more minimal and I just like the way it looks. Managing my office work, YouTube to-do list or even some random tasks is so much easier and convenient now. There is no day that goes by without me brainstorming or sketching wireframes. To accomplish this task, Concept App has been a game changer for organizing my creative thoughts and bringing my imagination to life. Before diving into designing a UI, I first brainstorm some ideas that I do in this app. In my daily workflow of taking meeting notes, sketching wireframes and writing random thoughts, this app helps me a lot. I really like the color wheel, the grid and the snap feature as it makes my wireframes and notes look even better and organized. Not only that, if you want to share your document, you can even export the file in different formats as well. There are smaller tasks that I cannot put in my calendar. So for those kind of reminders, I use the Apple Reminders app. All I want to do is write down the things that I have to do in my day and check them off when they are done. And that is enough for me. I don't need any third party app that gives me some rewards for completing my task or cheers me up when I finish one. This serves the purpose really well and I am happy with this app. On the left side of my calendar widget, I have my ChatGPT widget as well. Now, ChatGPT is not only my work assistant, but it is also my mentor who teaches me about the things that are happening in the world, whether it is about design knowledge or just asking for it to make me a new workout plan. It helps me gain more knowledge and be more productive in many ways. ChatGPT even helps me with writing my YouTube scripts. Well, it does not write the best script, but I have a base to start with and with some adjustments, I make it even better and the way I want it. I'm not gonna lie that I use this for productivity only. I play games and consume multimedia as well. YouTube is what I love because I make videos and I have to constantly upskill myself to make better content for you guys. For that, this serves me as a second computer that runs even when I'm working. Watching YouTube videos, listening to songs while I work, or brainstorm my video shorts or thumbnails. My iPad helps me a lot with my YouTube in many many ways. Before having an iPad, I was a little skeptical about buying it. But after having my hands on this and using it as a creative professional, I think this is one of the best investments anyone can make. There are other tablets as well in the market, but an iPad is one of the worth the price products from Apple. And that is basically everything how I use my iPad as a creative professional. 
Let me know in the comments what you think about my system and tell me how you use your iPad in your daily workflow as well. And as always, if you like my content, please like this video. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well and share it among your friends. And see you until next time.